So, it's like a thousand degrees in here. I'm wearing a jacket. And why? You may notice something looks a little different about your boy. Is it the haircut? Is it the glasses? Is it the is it the jacket? The the t-shirt? Well, <laughs> it's all of the above actually, because today's video is gonna be about how to rebrand yourself as an artist. So what is up everybody? I am Legend and welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about how to rebrand yourself as an artist, starting with your image. So basically in the first part of this series, AKA this episode, I'm gonna show you how to plan your new image using an application AKA a website called Mila Note. This is something that I use to plan a lot of my YouTube videos as well as a bunch of other things in my life, but there is many templates you can use to plan different things from your album releases to the content that you put out on your YouTube channel to even projects. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer and I'll show you, it's too hot. I'll show you how that's done as soon as I wipe off all this sweat. So first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day, which is today. So you know I had to have the Guinness on deck, about 30% Irish. <laughs> I'll talk about that in a future video. But today we're talking about how to basically plan your image using this website called Mila Note. Um, it also has a companion app that you can use for your Mac or your PC. You just scroll down to the bottom of the page and click download the mobile app. But to sign up, I'll include a link in the description. Um, that'll help me out. It'll also help you guys out because you'll be able to create your account there. We have a blank template. Now you can use different templates to start whatever you're trying to plan, whatever it may be, like a mood board, a project plan, a creative brief. You can click on more templates. You have different things here that you can look into. Now you can go through each and every one of these to decide what kind of approach you wanna to have towards your branding or towards how you plan your stuff out. But for me, for this particular um, aspect, I went ahead and chose uh, more templates. I went to film and TV and I clicked on this mood board right here. So this gives you like a nice um, starting point. Now, if you click use this template, it's going to basically show you the template that it had and then you can choose to like move these around wherever you want to put them you add photos here and you can change these to different colors which is going to become very important in your design scheme for your branding so i'm going to go ahead and go to the board that i started myself which is photo shoots now this is for my fashion for my rebranding but also it's going to be for different photo shoot ideas that i have so i'll just click that and here is what i've made up so far now i'll tell you how i crafted this so the way that i laid this out is I focused on the artists that inspire me on a fashion tip, um, on a, you know their looks, their visuals, from videos to photos to what they wear, um, their, their entire like bravado as, as an artist. And two of the people that match the kind of look that I'm trying to go for is Kanye West and Ryan Leslie. So you'll see they're gonna be in a, in a lot of these examples. But just to show you, so these were all blank photos before. And what I did is I just found a picture. So let's say I went to Google, right? And then I type in Ryan Leslie fashion, you know, if, if that's what I wanted to look at. I click on images. And then here we see a bunch of different photos on Ryan Leslie and his fashion. We see he wears a lot of leather, leather jackets. Uh, some coats, sunglasses, different things. So I would save an image, like let's say this one right here. I like this one. Then you come to your Mila Note board here and you wanna just drag and drop. Basically when this is empty, you can click to drag this and drop this here. Now in this case, since I already uploaded a photo, I don't wanna replace this, but if I wanted to, I could go like that and replace the photo with this one right here. Now I'm gonna undo that because this kind of goes for the mood that I'm looking for. So what I did here is I put in the primary colors that I want to represent my looks, my brand, things that I figured could um, complement each other when I'm going to uh, design my outfits or, or style myself. And I love blacks, grays, and whites. So of course I had to start with here, my primary colors, blacks, grays, and whites. That's what has to be in pretty much all of my outfits. So whatever that may be for you, that may be different. And you can even lay it out in a different way. And then from there, I kind of just look at these different photos and the ones that I put in here, I try to figure out what colors are they matching together? What what lighting do they have? Um, what colors are they physically wearing? So we'll see here in this photo, we have this kind of light 
green, yellowish color that's, you know, kind of in the sky here. It's the filter that he's using, which is a, another important part of rebranding yourself and your image. And then I have this video here that represents like a video visual of what I'm trying to go for. A lot of what he's doing is very high class. It's very well put together. He's got the piano in the background. Or to the man who found his computer. If you haven't heard of Ryan Leslie. Because this was called Black Mozart. So the feel he's trying to go for is a very classy, classical, but edgy rap artist. Because this is when he switched to doing just rap. And you see the colors here with the, the white, the gray, the black, and the red. So that's kind of, even without watching this, that's the look that I wanted to go for. And so here on Mila Note, uh, basically what you do is you just click one of the squares and you just change it to whatever color you want so that I could do white, but in this case, I do want to do black. Uh, but whatever works for you, that's what works for you. And so I'll even, what we can do now is we can come to the left side, which is your menu. You can choose to add comments, uh, columns for different things, a to-do list. Um, different links. I'm actually going to drag over a new column and this is going to be um, just some comments that I add about the look that I'm going for. So I will add a note here. Then I can add another note right underneath this to show, let's say, uh, what type of clothing do I want to wear? How am I going to present the, the, the look that I want? And first of all, let, before I do that, Let's drag that down. Um, I'll add another note here. That's gonna say um, the look that I'm trying to go for, which is, like I said before, classy, edgy, clean, and minimal. So here is where I wanna add in the different trends that I see people like Ryan Leslie do, people like um, Kanye West do, or who I'm gonna add later, which is Childish Gambino, because we have the same body type. And body types is another thing that you wanna kind of research. So there's the Kib body types. And uh, so I'll add this to my overall look notes. For me is romantic. So I'll add another note here. We'll do another bulleted list. So with Ryan Leslie, for instance, what I see in a lot of these photos and a lot of his other photos that are even on um, Google, he wears a lot of like gold chains, a lot of accented pieces. He's always in a leather jacket, always kind of very simple, elegant design, always with the sunglasses. So um, I'm going to first put uh, key look pieces He's always got a, a leather jacket, pea coats. I'm gonna go ahead and add another board here or another column rather. And this will be for Kanye West. Key. So I'm just kind of brainstorming my ideas. You see kind of the process I'm going. And th I, this is my first time doing even this, but like I already laid out all this stuff here. Uh, but just doing all this is, is a very nice way to approach this. And even, look, look, look this is a perfect example of, of something we could, how to dress like Donald Glover. I just clicked this because I like this look right here. Um, but we have a whole article here that we can open in a new tab. I will copy this link. We'll paste it there. So now we have an article to always reference how to dress like Donald Glover. And there's also one that I found how to dress like Kanye West. But you, if you guys can just catch what I'm doing, it's, it's you're just breaking down, you're adding photos and videos or whatever it may be of the artists who inspire you or different people you find on Google. It doesn't have to be an artist, but that is what I would just relate to most because it's somebody who's in our field. And if you find articles like this one right here, even put those in here, you know, because then you'll, you can reference those when you finally do go shopping later on. And then you have, you know, some outfits to kind of uh, gauge off of. So like, if I want to buy a look that looks like this, I know to get like, oh, some shorts that look like this and a shirt that look like this. But this is pretty much how I plan uh, my new look and, and it's kind of what I've been implementing, you know, with the glasses, uh, most recently the layering. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one. Stay legendary.